Yeah, Abby and Jess, the city told us today that the floodgates here at the dam were actually open whenever the four boys came to go fishing. Now they say that they were fishing over on what was a little island over here whenever the older boys decided to jump in to swim. They say that the younger boys jumped in right after them and that's when they were swept away by the current. You know, they were just trying to have some innocent fun. Uh, one of them was trying to celebrate their 11th birthday. They were trying to fish, enjoy the time. They just weren't aware of the dangers that was lurking near them. A heartbreaking scene Monday evening as 70 first responders searched from the dam at Lake Overholzer to the Oklahoma River for two children, a 10 year old and an 11 year old who were lost under the current. The current began to pull them towards the, the raging rapids you see here behind us. Firefighters say the boys were 60 to 70 yards from the rapids when they got in the water. And I'm sure they thought they were OK. You can see what looks like calm waters where they were fishing, but the strength of the current pulled them away. The older boys were able to get to this concrete ledge and were rescued. And after hours of searching thousands of yards of water, the younger boys bodies were recovered. Now families in the community mourn the loss of two children. It's just a tragic scene. Uh, there was a lot of family here last night on the shore. As you can imagine, uh, it's just a tragic situation. We hate it for the boys. We hate it for the family. The city of Oklahoma City who operates the dam told KOCO the gates were opened Sunday. The city said these lights and sirens sound for two to 10 minutes prior to the gates opening. Plus, officials do an on site search of the spillway area. They want everyone to know swimming is not allowed in any part of the lake. Now, fire officials told us today that they will not be releasing the names of any of the victims involved in this tragedy.